If you've been to my website before, you know one of my specialties is these old Mercedes diesels. And one specialty that we do in particular is related to the old diesels and their oil coolers and related systems. Let me tell you, these oil coolers are critical. If they're not functioning properly, your engine can overheat. You know, I've seen people install the wrong oil cooler on the car and then they complain the engine runs hot or the oil cooler becomes plugged or worse yet, one of these oil cooler hoses fail and all the oil pumps out of the engine in a very, just a few minutes and it, it'll totally destroy the engine. Unless you're staring at that oil pressure gauge and you catch it when it goes to zero, it's all over for that poor engine, okay? So we work hard, uh, we provide oil coolers, we provide oil cooler hoses, we even make a special wrench to get those, those fittings off and it has to be modified. We take this kind of wrench and we turn it into this wrench. So we do quite a bit of work in our shop customizing tools and other special things that you might need to keep your diesel running forever, okay? So I just wanted to share this little product overview with you, give you a summary of what we're currently uh, carrying on my website. We do have used oil coolers. Now, the only new oil cooler we can get right now is for the turbo diesel, the later 81 to 85 turbo diesel engine. Um, and they're very expensive, and I tell you, they're not going to be available very much longer. So we do have, uh, this is a turbo diesel oil cooler out of an 81 to 85. This one here, this large one, is from a 78 to 1980 300SD. These are very hard to find. And you might be thinking, well, what goes wrong with oil coolers? Most of the time, it's damage to these fittings right here, to the threads. When you go to remove your oil cooler line, that steel, that steel fitting will often seize to the aluminum threads. That's right, these threads are aluminum. Can you believe it? So what happens is you try to torque those off and it strips the threads out. And that's the number one reason why, why these oil coolers fail and have to be replaced. There are problems with them, they will leak. So you need to keep an eye on that as well. The big thing recently though has been the quest to get a quality, and I'm gonna say quality oil cooler hose because these have to be changed for the health of your engine. If you see these start to leak or weep oil, you better change them right, right away or it could be really bad for you, okay? And what happened was, this is typical of some of the oil cooler hoses that are floating around the country by various vendors right now. They're silver in color. And of course, we, we picked up a couple of these and we sold them to some of our customers and all of a sudden we started getting complaints that they wouldn't fit. And I can't believe it, they were actually built with the wrong bend right here. So can you imagine the frustration of getting your diesel engine, you know, you got to jack it up and you got to go through all the rigmarole. These aren't that easy to replace. You got, you're under the car, you're trying to get these in place and you find out, I can't get these in here. The bend doesn't fit right. Well, that really frustrated us because we saw the frustration that our customers were going through. So we went to Monarch in Germany and said, can you help us? Can you help us build or have built a quality Mercedes diesel oil cooler hose that's going to fit properly <laughs> and last a long time. We also were having problems with some of these cheap ones. This fitting right here on the end would leak. It wouldn't seal right when you tighten it down. You know, you tighten it down onto the oil cooler fitting like this, it would end up leaking and you go, oh, come on. And of course, people would get mad at us and we don't build them. So that's when we went to Monarch and said, hey, can you help us out? And we're very proud of these. These are probably the only ones in the country that are actually still being made in Europe, okay? So if, you, if you're having uh, oil cooler hose issues, now I have to warn you, we don't have oil cooler hoses for all of them. We have them for the 78 to 80 300 SD, the 81 to 85 300 SD, and the 81 to 85 123 turbos, that's it. That's all we can get. All the oddball 240D hoses or 300D non-turbo non hoses, there's just not enough man, a demand for us to have these manufactured for us specifically. So I just want to encourage you, you know, if you have one of these old turbo diesels, 
either 116, 123, or 126, and you want to keep it running, keep a close eye on your oil cooler and your oil cooler hoses. And if you need help, we can, we can provide the parts, the instructions, and even the special tools you'll need to fix the problem yourself. So just follow the link below in the description of this video, and it'll take you right to these resources on my website.